Hello guys, welcome back to Turin Guys, it's Jacob here and today's video is about basically our year and because it's, well, as of recording, it is New Year's Eve and, you know, I just wanted to go through our year and kind of show you guys what it's been like throughout our entire year. It's been insane. <laughs> uh, our year has been absolutely insane from Kyle, well, the starting of the year, Kyle being eight college to sort out his maths, me working to us going to see Ed Sheeran three times, to my niece being born at the end of 2017. I've, I really can't imagine, I really can't see how this year has gone, like it's just flown by, like I've lost, I've gained, I've met amazing friends and it's just bit weird. I'm in university, I'm 20, I'm, an, I'm basically an adult now. It's, it's weird. It's a weird feeling being an adult. Um, our year has kind of gone kind of insane from going to see Ed Sheeran three <laughs> times to just... It's just weird. <laughs> Kyle getting new tattoos, um, me getting new tattoos, uh, applying for student loans, going to Summer in the Sea, that was absolutely fantastic. I loved Summer in the Sea. Meeting some fans there was just brilliant. Like, I really felt like I belonged somewhere when I went to Summer in the Sea. It was a nice environment to be in. Um, we had a lot of fun this year. It's been a great year, going to Edgeshire three times. I know it's expensive, but you know, I did it because I wanted to. My niece was born. Just applying for university and meeting friends for university was really good. I enjoyed that. You know, paying paying the money for university, like you know, having to pay for uniform, having to pay for my deposit on my flat. It's been insane. Um, going and moving into university, the start of moving into university was brilliant. Meeting my flatmates was really weird actually. We talked beforehand, we talked on the uh, Facebook and video called quite a lot and it was just weird being able to talk to them, seeing, seeing them face to face from seeing them over a video call. It was quite weird because, you know, you don't really expect that. You don't really expect to make friends. It's like going, in, going into secondary school or starting a new school I've always said it when someone's asked me what, what it's like starting university, it's like starting a new school. Everyone's in the same boat, so you do make friends quite fast actually, it's, but it's great. <laughs> because we're living with these friends, sorry I've got a coffee, thirsty. Because we've made these friends, it's just been great. Um, university really is about what friends you have. Um, I started my first placement in 20s in this year. I don't know why I keep saying 2017. It's it's just this year's gone so fast. <laughs> um starting placement this year was brilliant. I love that. And now starting my next placement when I get back to uni it's just it's scary. It really is. I'm really enjoying it though. The amount of knowledge I have gained already and the amount I've learned already from starting university and throughout this entire year. It's been brilliant. I've, I really feel like I've grown up and I really feel like I've made great friendships. Um, obviously, I'm sure you guys enjoyed the video I made the other day for Kyle. And um, It's great to be in university with a friend like that, with someone who's able to support you and someone who's basically family to you and is able to support you like that, is able to give you a good kick up the arse when you need it. I really think that this year has just been great because of the people I've had around me. Um, I wouldn't have made it through very big points in my life without my friends and without my family. Going to Ed Sheeran was fantastic and get, basically travelling in England was great. We went to London a couple of times, we went to Newcastle, Manchester, we went to the Etihad, went to St James's Park, went to Wembley, then in the end going somewhere in the city, it was just fantastic meeting those friends and meeting people on YouTube. If you guys are watching this, thank you. If you guys who went to somewhere in the city are watching this, thank you for that opportunity. Because it was great to meet you guys. It's also great to meet fans. Going to university, we've met a couple, we've met a lot of people who have watched our YouTube channel and who have kind of expressed their thanks to us for helping them. And um, it's really strange to think 
that me and Carl are able to help people like that and able to still give people, give back to our community. It's strange to see how we have helped people. I didn't think what we, ha what we have been doing has actually made this much of an impact. It's great. Um, yeah, that's just been our year. Our year's been fantastic. It's been up and down, up and down. And now it's the end of the year. It's going up again. I'm pretty much losing hair from stress, but that's just normal stress. <laughs> it's all in all, it's been absolutely great. I've really enjoyed university. I've really enjoyed this year from starting work in a new care home to building up a financial state where I can, where I feel comfortable to go to university, applying for university, going to interviews, going to open days, staying at, say, in the hotel in the town. It's just been great. That falling in love with Worcester was the best thing I've ever done. Because it, you really do feel like an adult. I mean, throughout secondary school and throughout college and, you know, throughout primary school, you are, you're kind of like babies. You're kind of pushed towards a certain direction and what you want to do. Even in college, you're kind of pushed towards a direction, whether that's your parents or that's something you thought, oh, I want to do as a kid, I can't really back down now. You always kind of push towards a direction. But once you leave college or once you leave secondary school, you kind of out in the open world now you kind of think it's two ways to think about it you get really dread you get full of dread and thinking what the hell do i do now or you kind of feel excited kind of feel like i can really choose my own path here and it's a fantastic feeling um in college i decided i want to be a paramedic and leaving college i thought let everyone else is stressing that i need to apply for university i need to do this i need to do that i thought i'm not ready for university yet I need to have a year to kind of like build up my own confidence and to grow up. I weren't ready for university because I weren't mature enough to be in university. And I had to tell myself that and I had to kind of, kind of tell myself the harsh truth of I wasn't mentally ready for university. And giving myself that year I think was the best choice I ever made. And throughout that year I made friends, I extended my family, <laughs> I've got a niece and you know, it's just been great. Now I'm in university with amazing friends. Um, once you're in university and once you pick your course and once you're going through what university you want to go to, you really do feel free. You really do feel like you can make your own choice. And yeah, based on what you want. <laughs> my brother went up to Carlisle for university. Um, one of my sisters stayed in Coventry, the other one went to Wolverhampton. And you know, it's nice. I, my, my advice to you guys, if you are picking university, would be get out of your own town. Don't stay in your own hometown. Due to the fact that you want to get out, you want to explore the world a bit, even if that's just a part of your own country. Like whether you're in America or whether you're in Australia, just explore your own country a bit. Going to a different university in a different state or city. That's what I did. So now we're coming to the end of the year, and out of ten. Because I did this in 2016. <laughs> out of 10, um, my year's been 8 or 9 out of 10. It's had its ups, it's had its down, and I really do think the end of the year I'm better off. I'm, I've grown and I'm a better man now. Um, and throughout the year, we have gained shit to the subscribers, so thank you guys so much. It's been absolutely insane. So, this is the end of today's video. It's been insane to see the channel grow this year it's been insane to see to see the insane yeah insane i thought i said that wrong it's been insane to see the impact of our channel on other people i've really enjoyed this year and i've really enjoyed to grow with you guys this year and um, if you did like this video give it a like subscribe and comment down below what you liked about it if you guys want to see more of this sort of content like me sitting down with you with a cup of tea or coffee if you're wondering what sort of bug i'm using it's a flask. This is full of coffee. <laughs> um, if you guys like these sit down sessions, um, just let me know and I'll be doing it a lot more. Um, I'll probably call it Tea with Jacob or Coffee with Jacob. <laughs> so um, let me know if you guys enjoy these sort of sessions. And yeah, have a good one. Like, subscribe, and comment down below what you liked about this video. It has been Jacob for Tyrone, guys. Good luck with your interviews. Good luck with university if you're in university. And good luck with your study. Goodbye. Stay out there.